I'm going to run through how to set up the Arduino Temperature Control Lab experiment. This one is, uh, you know, measures temperature here on this um, thermistor right here, and we have a heater uh, that is going to that we're going to manipulate with a millivolt signal that goes between zero and 255. Okay, and then this temperature sensor here is going to report in Kelvin uh, the current temperature. Uh, you can always re, uh, convert that to degrees Celsius or Fahrenheit uh, if you'd like. Uh, to go get the uh, source files for this, just follow uh, this link right here. Um, and that will open up uh, the web page. You come down here on the applications on the right. Okay, let me see if I can scroll over there and just select temperature control. And then what you can do is go ahead and download uh, the source files right here. So these would be source files in Python. Go ahead and save those. And then once it's finished, uh, go ahead and show all downloads. You can just drag that over uh, to your desktop, for example, if you want to uh, put it there or some, another place. Okay, and then just go ahead and extract all. That's the uh, first thing you want to be able to extract this. You don't want to have the zipped archive. And then go ahead and just clean up, uh, you know, get rid of the zipped one if you want to. Okay, in here is our, um, you have the Arduino. Uh, this is a, a module that we've created uh, so that it simplifies the main program. You also have a README file right here. Uh, you know, just some, some instructions on uh, running this. And this will actually be main.py right here. Okay, so open up main.py. Um, you can do it with Anaconda, with um, you know the Jupyter, uh, or you can do it with Spider or the IDLE editor. I'm just going to use this in IDLE editor. And to run through this, I've just copied the source code over here. And let's just go ahead and go through this at a high level. Okay, so first we just need to import some packages. Uh, we're going to connect to the Arduino. So what I'll do is go ahead and just take my USB from the Arduino and I'm going to plug it into this computer right here. Okay, we'll initialize some of our plotting functions. You can set this to run for a certain number of minutes. Um, I have it here you know, set to 10 minutes. And then the number of loops is going to do the number of measurements and control actions is going to be, you know, it's going to be every uh, second. Uh, so I just multiply by 60, and you'll see where the loops uh, comes into play down below. Okay, I want to record a temperature set point and a temperature of my device. Okay, so this is my measured temperature, and then my uh, set point of my temperature. Okay, and. Um, also, here is my controller output, or my manipulated variable. Uh, conveniently, it is also millivolts, MV. And so I'm just going to set this to zero initially at all of those points in the loop. Okay, so those uh, 600 points. And then after 20 seconds, I'll change it to 150. Okay, but you could design a doublet test or something like that uh, right here. Uh, this starts the main loop. And first of all, I put this try accept here. Okay, so if I go down, you'll see an accept. So that if you have a keyboard interrupt, if you do control C, or you, uh, for whatever reason, disconnected, then it'll shut down and turn the voltage to zero. Okay, um, let's come back up here. So here's my main loop right here. Let me go ahead and zoom in just a little bit more. Okay, so it goes through and it's gonna sleep for about one second. Um, it's just going to see how long that loop took, and then uh, based on that, how long it took, it'll uh, sleep for the additional amount to make it one second. I'm just going to record some times here, including a delta time on how long that loop took. And then uh, here's where I read in the current temperature. I just use a.readtemp, and then it gives me my temperature in Kelvin. Uh, if you wanted to insert, um, you know, a PID controller or something like that, you just do it right here. You just say MVI equals and then something. Okay, change the current value of MVI. Uh, and then as a next step right here, it writes that voltage back to the device. Okay, that millivolt uh, MVI, uh, it's going to write that back to the device. That's going to be our heater. Okay, so this is our heater. 
and this is our sensor right here. And so in this loop, every time you're reading a temperature, and then you have the the heater going, uh, you know, and adjusted. And here it just you know prints out the results and adds a new data point to a line. It'll put that into an Excel file, and I'll show you where that is in just a bit. Okay, and then. Um, Here's where it actually saves the Excel uh, file. Okay, and that's basically it for this. Let me go ahead and just open this up now. Let's go to Arduino Lab, and I think we already have that open. Okay, there it is. So I'm just going to go ahead and run it. It's going to do a step after uh, 20 seconds. So it's going to run through. It's going to open the connection, figure out which uh, port you're on, and then it'll have this plot uh, that starts up right here. Uh, and you'll be able to see the red line. The red line is going to be your current temperature. The blue line is your millivolt signal. Okay, so if you either have a controller change that or you change it, uh, the blue line is going to be your um, your millivolts, and that just went from zero up to 150. And then what we'll see is we'll start to see this temperature rise. Okay, so you can see right here. Uh, the temperature it just went up by a degree. It's going up just ever so slightly there. You can see it rise just above 300, and it's going to continue to rise until it does our uh, step response. So I'll let this just go for a, a few more seconds, maybe a minute or so, just to show this um, this rise. When you're doing step tests or doublet tests, you want to make sure that uh, you you get most of the way to steady state. So you want to see it kind of level off before you change it again. And you may have to adjust the amount of time you run. 10 minutes may not be enough, um, or it, it might be, um, depending on what you're trying to do for your model identification. Okay, and then also for your uh, PID controller, you want to show that it, it comes up to uh, the set point. So while this is running, let's just um, come back here to the problem statement. Uh, so the first one is dynamic modeling. You're going to come up with a first order plus dead time model and also a first principles model of this. So there's some information there on, on helping you develop this. Um, you also want to fit uh, the physics-based model to the uh, data that you have. Okay, so you may have to adjust some of your parameters like heat transfer coefficients or uh, heat capacities or things like that to, to fit uh, the, the uh, data. Okay, the the step three is fitting just an empirical first order plus dead time model, and that's where you uh, fit these uh, kp, tau p, and theta p, and then implement a PID controller. Uh, go ahead and use the IMC correlations that are listed uh, down here <clears throat> to help you come up with initial points for your PID controller, and then go ahead and tune it um, at, at, uh, as well. Okay, so here we have uh, you know some example code. This is a first principles model right here, where uh, you can run uh, you can run this, and it will um, you know simulate the Arduino. Okay, that's the example code. But if you want to use the Arduino device, if you've built it, um, you know come here to get the actual Python files, the the source uh, for running the Python. Uh, controller or the uh, you know the doublet test on the on the physical device. So down below is the simulated Arduino device. Uh, you know some starting points for that, and then this is the uh, the physical one right here. Okay, so here I have my uh, step test going on, and I'm just going to go ahead and do Control C to stop it, and then it will um, write into output files. It's going to write this uh, data.xls file and here you'll see um, my time, my voltage out, my temperature and then my set point as well. Okay so you have all of this uh, data you know you can use that to plot it in Excel or or do other types of fitting uh, functions if you want to. Um, okay so that's it for uh, this demonstration. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and close that out. Okay, so just a reminder, just come to this address right here uh, for a little bit of additional information.